G'day, this is my 2650 system and I'm just going to dump the contents of the mass ROM to my CRT. So we're just going to hit reset. Okay, then we're going to go over to our terminal and we're going to dump the contents of the uh, mass ROM. So from Zero, 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 space, zero, three, F, D. Okay. And now it should begin to dump the contents. And this will take a while because we're running at 110 board. At the moment, my connection to the serial terminal, a bit janky. I'm running from my breakout box. So I'm just going to make up a decent cable later and replace uh, this janky uh, connection, but it, it works fine. Yes, we're going through a series of uh, adapters from 9 pin to 25 pin and gender changes. So yeah, it is very janky, but we'll make up a dedicated cable for it later. And here's the mass ROM that we're dumping the contents of. And this mass ROM, it's from 1976 and it was manufactured in the 32nd week, I believe, of 1976 from the date code on the chip. And then next to that we have the CPU. And they're both beautiful ceramic chips. These do have tin legs, they're not the gold plated uh, chips, but they are still really beautiful. I'm going to build up a second board and I'm going to use uh, some plastic packages with under Neprom on that board and I plan to run it at a 4800 board um, that's going to be a little bit more practical to use and just for quality of life um, but I really love these ceramic chips and I'm going to keep this uh, set up with the ceramic Eprom and we're going to just have it running at the original 110 board and it's slowly dumping the contents of the ROM and I've been looking at the actual contents and it looks okay and when it gets to uh, 3FD I'm hoping that it's going to return in hex B5 that should be the last value I believe so so far it looks quite okay and also what I want to do later is write something to test the RAM starting at the 1k so at 0440 and I want to just add 1k at a time and test each 1k and we'll do that until we get the system expanded out to the full 4k. Then I might uh, load Nim and a few other little games um, from the hex files and once we've done that then we might even try to get the micro uh, basic running on this system um, if we can get the the source code sorted for it and even with 4k we can run that micro basic and that'll leave us you know just under a k i believe for our programs but i also have a second board that uses a pal for the um, logic for the memory and it has a larger eprom and it's using some modern memory and this should allow us to run um, at a much faster board rate. And it also has a basic in the EEPROM. And that'll be quite interesting. Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, okay, let's have a look at it. D2. Okay, FO. B5, 
okay, B5, okay, we've got an extra character in there, but that actually looks okay. So that's just a dump of the Mars ROM. Yeah, it was just a yeah, just to make sure that all the addressing so far works. And we'll keep working on this. And um, so far, I'm very impressed. And <laughs> I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. So I'm really grateful for the community that actually worked on this to make this uh, remake possible of the uh, Electronics Australia 2650 system. And... I think it's really cool that I'm actually using a much earlier um, copy of the EEPROM, or PROM, in this case, Mars ROM. Um, and this board also does support EEPROM, but yeah, I'm using the Mars ROM. And maybe I should just see if I can um, build myself a mini or baby 2650 system. Nah, but for now... Um, yeah, I think that's uh, enough. And yeah, we're going to do something about this jank uh, with the serial uh, connection, but it, it does work. Okay, well, I hope you found this interesting. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.